What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be getting some new fish for my aquarium. An aquarium that you guys probably haven't seen much. It's actually in my room. It's a 40 gallon rimless tank. The octopus used to be in it but we moved him to the nano tank and now it's kind of empty. We just have a lionfish. I caught a while back and I put it in there. I didn't really film it because I, I was just diving for fun. I didn't have the camera and I saw them and if you do see them you do have to take either kill them or take them out of the waters. They are an invasive species so I ended up just bringing him home and putting him in my tank because he was small. The octopus is no longer in that aquarium so we are going to be getting some new fish today. We got Haley and Maddie coming along with us. It's going to be a dope video so stay tuned and let's get it. Yeah. Alright first things first uh, I see this eel and he looks sick so I think we might get him. I'm not sure. I just saw that when I walked in. I'm gonna keep looking for it. Here we got a Courtney fish. I want him. That trigger fish. Look how sick that thing is. So like majestic, huh? Alright, uh, Maddie, Haley, can you do me a favor and please pick out some fish? Sure. Okay, we got some fish to pick out today. Let's go. Okay, so I think we're gonna go ahead and get this eel here. Um, that one. Okay, yeah. So that's a baby test no, Not that's that one, that one. Oh, that one back there? All right, yeah, we'll get him. So we're going to get this little trigger fish right here. And that eel over there. And those are just going to be the two fish for now. We got the fish. We got the kids. Come on, kids. Um, oh now we are heading home. We're going to get these guys in the tank, and then we are going to do a pool pond feeding. So it's going to be pretty epic. I'm going to let the kids feed the fish and stuff and get their reaction. So stay tuned for that. So here is the aquarium. We're about to put them in, but first we gotta get them acclimated and everything. But right now we got a lionfish in there, a little coral banded shrimp. All right, so we got an orange bucket. We gotta get the bags and then dump them into this bucket. So first it? we got the Niger Trigger. Boom. And then we pop the other bag so we can get some more water in there. Don't think it. It's not me up now. There you go. Now our snowflake eels in and our Niger trigger. This is a 40 gallon, so once he outgrows this, anything that outgrows this will either go into the 200 gallon or the pool pond. They're doing the drip acclimating. We're gonna give these guys about 20 minutes, then they're gonna go into the tank. You guys excited? Are you guys gonna name them or should we let the viewers name them? Um, I think we should let the viewers name one and then we name the other one. All right, all right, that sounds good. So comment down below a name for our two new fish. Yes. Ready? Yes. Think he's gonna look cool in the tank? Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna go right into the rocks, probably. Boom, look at that. Boom. Look at that. that guy's cool. He's gonna be swimming all around. Matt, do you like him? I like this one. Alright, so remember, you guys get to pick a, the one you want to name. So. name Maddie, which one's your favorite? This one. Alright, we'll name the eel and they can name that one. Maddie, what do you want to name it? Pokey. Pokey? Yeah. Why Pokey? Because he has polka dots. Okay, so his name is Pokey. In the meantime, you guys want to go feed the pool pump? Yep. All right, guys, you guys ready to feed the fish? All right, we got Maddie and we got Haley here. Do you guys love these fish or what? Yes. yes. Okay, so they've actually fed them before and they know all about them. Can you guys name some of the fish? Uh, that one is a lionfish. That's a yep. bumblebee grouper. And yep. that's a stingray and that's a hermit crab. Yep. And, and that's an eel. How did you learn that? You. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we got to get the food out, right? We got a puffer fish. We got a big puffer fish under that rock. He, he doesn't really come out as much oh, anymore. I see it. You see him? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, you see his face right there. You see his little, like, lips. But yeah, we gotta get these guys some food. Drop it, see what, Drop it. See what he eats it. What's gonna eat it? What's gonna eat it? Oh, big hermit crab, big hermit crab. Oh, oh, oh. oh. look at him, look at him. Oh, he's Holy. Trying to find it. That's insane. He just That's grabbed it. Cool. Wow. That's, that one wants to eat. Oh, the stingray. Stingray. Oh, grouper. Just oh, ate one. Grouper. No, that. Oh, lionfish wants it. I dropped it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Did you get it? Oh! oh. The lionfish blew up on it on top. Look at the hermit crab. The hermit He's. Crab, like, let's see if I can hand feed him. The hermit crab scaring the fish away. I know. Oh! oh. Did not want to get spined. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Boom. Fingers. Munched it. Boom. Got it. Perfect. He's gonna munch that away. Look at him. Oh, 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 oh! oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. He ate it right it. through the hole. Yeah, I put it in there. Wait, I don't want the snowflake eel. Yeah. Snowflake eel's out. I see Tessa lot of eel right there. I see his head. See him? Look, Stingray's eating over there. And we just did a, a whole maintenance, water change, filter clean out on this whole pool pond. Clean the sand. Looks absolutely amazing. The water is crystal clear. Did he? Seahorses are munching. 
Did you, is that what you just said, munching on it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Please, he's holding on him. He's holding on his mouth. Oh my god. He's got his mouth. He's What's your favorite his... seahorse? Well, all of you. The baby one. The baby, the baby one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's actually full grown, but those are just bigger. Not all. Yeah. They're all, they're not the same kind. That's a different species. And they're all females. We're gonna get males though to, to mate with them. So like I was mentioning to you guys, we got aquarium services, Tommy over here now, and he's doing all the maintenance on the tanks actually right now, but I kind of wanted to bring you guys along and show you guys what he does when he's here and kind of introduce you guys to him because Tommy is an awesome dude. He actually is a guy that comes over, does all the water changes, cleans out the aquariums. And he literally helps me a lot just learning, learning about the fish, learning about how to take care of them, the water changes, everything. He's, he's awesome. And then show you kind of what he does around the house. He comes once a week. He's gonna be a big part of this channel and that's just because he's gonna be working on our tanks and aquariums and make sure they're all good. We did find out one cool thing that I just got home and Tommy mentioned to me that, what was it Tommy? You have a walking sponge. It's kind of like a SpongeBob, but um, it is a SpongeBob, it's, right? It's a real life sponge. Can we see it? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, so here is the seahorse aquarium. Oh, right there? Uh-huh. That little pink thing? Yep. So that is a walking sponge, and basically that's literally like a SpongeBob. Everyone knows SpongeBob and the sponge. So that is what SpongeBob would be in an aquarium, a walking sponge. And now what were you saying? There's only a few of those species? Yeah, most sponges, they attach to a rock, and that's where they live for the rest of their life. Okay. Something tears them apart, and then they'll settle on a new rock. Really? But this one will actually move around the tank. What the? And it's, it's not super fast, you know, it's not running a race. It's not winning any races at yeah. this place. <laughs> but that is insane. Never knew we had a walking sponge in here. Never knew. And then Tommy, of course, found it out. And um, now we have a pet walking sponge. And he's living, right? He's just doing it. How long will... So what's like some facts on this thing? Uh, it looks super healthy. Yeah? So it's doing really well. You see those the long projections come mm -hmm. off of it? Yeah. Um, those are going to grab onto surfaces. Okay. And then it'll decide if it wants to move in that direction. That is um, insane. It probably hitchhiked in on one of your coral colonies. Yeah, I think that because that's that rock right there had coral on it, and I it like had a good like a good piece on it. And I bet it was really tiny at first, and it's just been loving life in the well, snake and growing. And, really? Will yeah. it grow bigger than that? Not much bigger than that. That's one of the biggest I've seen. Wow, that's awesome. We got a pet, so I'm definitely naming him SpongeBob. 1,000%. So Tommy just mentioned that we are actually going to be doing stands, their own individual stands for all the aquariums, just because right now we have them on these tables, and over time they will give out, or the tanks can even give out. So we're going to be doing all new stands for the tanks. In that time, we're going to take the seahorses out. You guys can get a little close up and see what they kind of look like. And yeah, just we're, we're literally just doing this to prevent any problems from happening, because this stand obviously is a little, little wobbly, and this is a heavy tank, so we don't want anything happening. And we're gonna do a, a DIY tank stand, and if you guys wanna see that video, comment down below or like the video and let me know. That way, I'll film it, that shows me you guys wanna see it, and then we'll post it on YouTube. But look at them, doing awesome. Also, a little update, our horseshoe crabs that we caught the other day are doing awesome they're out right now and that's just because Tommy stirred up the sand when he was siphoning everything up just to make sure everything was clean and that caused them to come out so they don't usually come out much because they're always buried in the sand but as soon as I saw them out I was like I gotta grab the camera and get some footage of them because it's it's so rare to see them out like this all right, so before we wrap up this video, I do want to give a shout out to Haley and Maddie for coming along with us today, feeding the fish, picking out some fish. That was absolutely awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the whole little fish feeding. That was dope. We haven't done one of those in a while, but we did get some new fish from like my room, and that's like the only fish tank in my room. We got a lot of videos coming, so make sure you guys are subscribed, and if not, um, don't know what to tell you. But um, yeah, with that being said, we'll see you in the next one. See you.